Uh, hello guys, I'm going to rush through this because it's too much content. And uh, My name is André Landwehr, I work for the Digital City Science Department of the Hafen City University in Hamburg, presenting the school uh, the uh, tool Cockpit for Collaborative Urban Analysis and Planning, short COOP, formerly known as Function Scope, and is based on the uh, concept of the city scope developed by the MIT Media Lab. We got our project funded by the Hafen City Development Agency in Hamburg, and uh, basically the tool allows you to run several near to real time simulations for urban neighborhood designs such as pedestrian flow, noise simulation and so on. And uh, we offer two front ends for this tool. One is the web tool based on MapLibre where you can uh, see the features in 3D and then also uh, deep dive into the analysis. And on the other end we have a tangible table where you can really play around with 3D printed uh, building objects and uh, configure your neighborhood and also run the simulations. Um, so. We uh, applied this tool in an architecture competition for the Grasburg neighborhood in Hamburg and uh, we had to pass several BIM files of the architects which were based on sort of a standard BIM scheme uh, and then we converted them to GeoJS in order to run simulations and show them in the web by uh, Dynamo Revit which allows you to iterate over each building and each floor and read the, the properties of these floors and the geometries and then uh, we exported them in an Excel file, read that with Python to generate five standardized GeoJSON, one for each uh, floor typology, such as basement floors, upper floors, ground floors, and rooftops, and also the open spaces. So we could show them on the map, and also use them for our simulation calculations. So the simulation modules, we have several of them. i just quickly show you because there is little time. Um, pedestrian flow simulation is an in-house developed agent-based simulation uh, based on Gamma. And uh, traffic noise simulation is actually based on the noise modeling project by the French Institute of Science and Technology for Transport Development and Networks. Uh, the wind comfort simulation is provided by the Austrian Institute of Technology. It's a machine learning model for CFD. And it's super fast. Normally it would take you like a week or something. They take, I don't know, 150 seconds. And the stormwater simulation is the in-house developed model in EPA SWIM. You can find more information on the links. And uh, the user in the front end can also combine each simulation result. For example, to find sunny spots with little wind for, let's say, sun bathing or cafes, or at least well performing spots like um, segments with a lot of pedestrians that are exposed to high traffic noise. Uh, the tangible table is something the architects really love because you can play around freely with 3D printed objects and it's much easier to see and understand the scale of the neighborhood uh, once you have like a 3D model in front of you. You can move around the buildings freely, they are tagged with the Aruko marker, then read by infrared enabled cameras so the system knows where they are positioned, translates this back into GeoJSON and then feeds that to the simulation server so that we can run the same, same simulations on the tangible interactive table as on the web front end. And uh, while you can look at some impressions of the tool, I would quickly go over some lessons learned from applying this in an architectural competition. Uh, the biggest challenge definitely was to make the architects uh, draw clean BIM files in terms of like closed polygons and um, data schemes and so on that they would stick to, to what they stick to, <laughs> should stick to, and uh, to integrate this tool into the planning process because it's hard to get urban planners and architects out of like their usual behavior. The benefits are big though because normally in an architecture competition you would only assess your design once in the end of the competition and couldn't uh, improve it anymore while uh, and that's why architects rely on tested knowledge in order to design well-functioning neighborhoods and our tool would enable them to at least validate their assumptions, identify weak spots, identify well-functioning spots and then reiteratively uh, create like a really well-functioning neighborhood based on the simulation results and last but not least we really created this um, adaptive uh, expandably so if you want to run it yourself and include your own simulation that it's a GeoJSON, gives a GeoJSON, you can definitely include it and it can be used by like any neighborhood in the world that has a GeoJSON format. So it's not limited to our thing. Uh, I have flyers if you want. <laughs> Thank you.